let's move on to uh, exposing some of this pedosadism that's yeah. taking place in amongst the elite. This has been going on for a long time, man. Long time. Yeah. I mean... Tragic. I tell, yeah, I know. It's just one of those things. When I first started looking at that information, I was, I, you know, it really sort of hit me hard. That's why I make sure I'm at every protest about it. I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it slide, you know. But I've seen, um, I've, you know, I mean, I mean, London alone is is, is full of symbology about yeah. it. You have got Dolphin Square, and if you look about, you'll find so many statues of little naked boys with a dolphin. All scattered around London, you know, they're everywhere, and, and the little and the little cherubs, little naked boys here and there. I saw one today. I took a picture of it on my phone, sent it to my friends, and it was a a sheep with a young boy behind it and a young boy in front of it. And, it, and then you think, who the, like, who's putting this stuff here? But then you know who's putting that stuff there because who designed all this stuff? It's, it's, it's Freemasonry. Yeah, it's the Stonemasons. Or yeah. yeah, or it's a if not directly Freemasons, it's some sort of other secret order. Yeah. And this stuff is, goes deep, it goes back in history. Um, funnily enough, there's a, there was a Roman emperor, uh, Tiberius, massive child molester. He, when he finished in Rome, he uh, moved to Sicily. I think was it Sicily? Capri, something like that. And he basically surrounded himself in, in young kids and spent the rest of his days there. Uh, interestingly enough, there was an Operation Tiberius that the police, the, the Met Police done in, I think, 2003, possibly 2005. And that was investigating Masonic um, infiltration uh, of criminals into the Met Police and into um, H&M Revenue and into the, uh, the Royal Courts and all this stuff. And they just happened to use a name of, of a notorious child molester who coincidentally was um, in power at the time of Christ's crucifixion. And also, I found a children's book publisher called Tiberius, and I'm currently in conversations with them. I'm expecting a call from their, from their head. He's going to phone me up and explain to me why he chose that as a suitable name for a children's book publisher. Now, this, this is the sort of stuff that I'm interested in finding out. And when I see this stuff, and I don't think something's right, I'll, I'll email them. And if, yeah, they don't, yeah. if they don't respond to me, I'll use a Freedom of Information Request Act on them. Yeah, yeah. But SEOP is, is exempt from uh, Freedom of Information Request Act. And that's the uh, division of the Met Police that um, is about child abuse. That's worth noting that they, yeah, they, they've yeah. made that exempt. So you, it's very difficult to get the information out of these people, you know. But um, you know, it, it's difficult with, with history because the term paedophile is relatively new. Yeah. So you had pederast, which was more like a young adolescent, you know, boys, as opposed to a sort of more infantile. Um, a lot of it in, in English was just, was just put down as sodomy. So it's difficult to distinguish whether it was a gay relationship or whether it was, you know, child abuse. But you can find this stuff, you know, it, you can find a lot of it in, the, in royal history in, yeah. in England. Um, who was the, I think it was Edwards third. I was read something about on his Wikipedia and it was that he took um, a liking to a boy that was 20 years his junior. So. Uh, and he, the boy was a telegraph boy. And I, well, I'd done the maths and figured out when he died and when he started, and the chances are he was about 10, 10 or 12. And this stuff's been going on forever. And I think a lot of it, this is my sort of personal belief, it's as well as just sort of um, breaking a person, it's, if you're, you're familiar with psychic vampirism? Say for example in my school, uh, in, in my year, one of the kids that terrorised most of the year <coughs> was you know violently was a was a child that got beaten up by his dad yeah so um that is a form of psychic vampirism he's been beaten so then he now has to go and beat yeah. that's why not obviously not all but some people when they get molested they end up you read it in the news oh but i, I got molested when i was young and, and it's psychic vampirism you've taken some you've taken that innocence away from them now they've left with a void that they've got to then fill and by taking it away from someone else it, it's not always the case you know people get hit by their dads and don't turn out like that yeah. some people get molested and don't turn out like that but it, it seems to be a reoccurring theme if you look at pe uh, paedophile psychology very similar to a serial killer's. You know, their psychological profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it, it, and it's very similar to, um, yeah, to, to like serial killers, to a bully, to anyone. That, that they can't make themselves feel high. Mm. And so, what? So, the, all they can do is make, is make you feel low. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And it's it, it's a very twisted. Yeah. 
in-depth thing just m mould its way into our consciousness somehow you know yeah. and it's really important uh, that we get this out there yeah. we get this exposed and you know we can try and try and fix the damage and yeah. hopefully it's not all irreversible yeah. but it's um I mean this stuff as well at the moment it's not just in England either is it you know you had the, you had the whole Franklin thing in America which was um oh, I can't remember the man's name now he was he was the one of the most powerful uh, black people in America in the 80s he was a Republican and um, he was he was basically like Jimmy Savile he was shipping them about flying them into the White House you know the, uh, Conspiracy of Silence was a documentary made by um, English that. group. Yeah. yeah, really worth watching. It's, it's hard to watch because I use some of the original uh, police interview tapes, and um, some of the you know it's, it's one of them ones. Yeah. I mean, when I'm watching this stuff, I have to stop it all the time. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, because you know, I, I find it upsetting, man. It's That's one I, thing that keeps people away from understanding it and learning how to break this cycle. It's just how arduous it is to mm. familiarise yourself with the the uh, historical context of it. It is so hard to sit through it and like you say it's just upsetting. Yeah it <coughs> is man. I mean I, I used to find watching the uh, things in like you know like a Syrian hospital or Libyan hospital or any atrocity that we've committed <coughs> when you see footage of it I mean just just hearing the noise alone used to get to me but um, you know this stuff really did it really did start getting to me and that's why i'm, I mean, I'm not going to leave it i'm going to keep trying to fight these people until yeah, yeah. we can we can have some sort of justice but for everyone for me the, f the fight back it has to be non-violent mm. <clears throat> and that's not just in action that's also in communication so using like non-compliance is the best non way man yeah. that's that, that, that that's my way because thing is they're ready for us yeah? they, they, they've been ready for god knows how long you know, it, it's like that policeman said, I don't know if you heard him at the march, he was saying, you, you can stand out here all you want. I mean, people have been standing out here shouting and screaming for hundreds of years. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it never solves anything. They're laughing at it, you know, which is true. And if ever it was, if ever we did try and get violent with them, they, you know, we, we, and smashed, unless yeah. there was enough of us, we, we would get yeah. smashed, yeah. So basically, the, the, the only way we can do it is by you know, uh, the consent of the governed and going, you know, we don't give you our consent. Yeah. I'm not being ruled by any paedophiles, you know what I mean? Or, or anyone mass. like that. Because if you do it in even small groups or individually, it's a, it is a guaranteed ticket to suffering, to, uh, you know, you end up with no money, no nowhere to yeah. live, all that sort of thing, and you end up ostracised, imprisoned, whatever it is, yeah. you, you end up fucked over. But if, you, like you're saying, if you had a way of organising enough people to just, I should say, not quite stop yeah, paying their TV licence. Yeah. Kind of same in the Netherlands, Germany, um, I think the, the Green Party in Germany were running the thing very similar to what Pi did um, back in the 70s. All around the 70s, this, all these groups started popping up. That was Where just after Ge practice Germany was discovered yeah, by when they, and, and what else were the Nazis doing with their occult things? Meditation, sacrifice predominantly of children really you know it's, it's, it's a massive thing i mean even you know in satanism um sacrifice a virgin it's a child that's what it means you know it's um I, there was even a report i think in the sunday express and they're not talking about this in the media anymore but it said jimmy savile uh, and other paedophiles in the basement of a hospital i can't remember which one it was it's probably it was stoke, Mandel, stoke Mandel, it? yeah or broadmoor one of these it was in the basement and he was saying how Satan in Latin yeah. as they were abusing this, this, this young girl. You know, but the media have cut this stuff out. Now it's just abuse. You know, even the term paedophile, it means love of a child. You know, that's not a word that goes in with this. That's why pedo sadist is a much more suitable word because this is serious abuse, it's, it's torture and it's murder massively. And if some of the things are to be believed, um, it? You know, it's, it's so horrendous that it's difficult for the mind to, yeah. to fully take it in. And I think that's why a lot of people shut, shut down to it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people can't think for themselves. Yeah. They can't govern themselves, they don't know themselves. In 2012, I was saying, Leon Britton, the paedophile, uh, Rolf Harris, all these people, Cliff Richard, and they're all coming out. Yeah. And my mum's like, you said that? Yeah, said, How yeah, do you yeah. know that? And I was like, because I don't watch that television, I don't read that newspaper, I look at alternative media. Yeah, yeah. And alternative, and some of the stuff I've been watching so far has, hasn't let me down yet. It's been very factual and very bang on, you know? Yeah, scary.